What is up guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I have something that not a lot of people have covered yet, but it has just come out and I'm actually really excited to try it out. I have the new 13 Fish Inception G2. Yep, that's right. G-Man himself, Gerald G-Man Swindle has helped 13 Fish come out with their first signature series line. Um, really excited, I'm a big fan of the G-Man. Uh, as you guys know, I use a lot of jigs and he is the reason why. So, we actually got the Meta Rod to go with this, but the rod has not come in yet. So, we'll do another video on the Meta Heavy 7.6 that I got in, because this is gonna be a flipping and pitching setup for me. Uh, but, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this reel. All right guys, so, this is gonna be the 6.6 .6 to one ratio. As you guys can see, it comes with a little decal. That's pretty cool. A little schematic with a part list. I do believe that this is one of their trick shop available reels where you can go on their website and kind of pick out parts the way you want it with your different color schemes and all that. So that is really cool. And we also have a Inception manual, which I've never actually read one of these. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. Okay, so it basically tells you how to adjust their, their braking system and all that. So pretty good for a beginner. I already have a 13 fish concept A, the first gen, so I'm already used to their uh, thing. So let's actually check out this reel here. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous so we got incept g2 and a nice dark red gloss it does have a gloss finish on the whole reel you got the little g-man right there like i said g-man himself helped design this reel with 13 fish over i believe a two-year time frame this does have a 22 pound bulldog drag which is really impressive for a 150 size oh well we don't have a you know audible click on the tension knob, but it does feel really smooth. Ooh, tightened it up a little too much there. It does have a nice smooth retrieve. It does seem audible click on the drag. Let's open up the braking system. Still has the beetle and a six way centrifugal braking system. That's pretty cool. Now one thing that I will say I'm a little disappointed and that is that this reel is made in there in China. Now that's not a big deal for a lot of people. Um, I mean if it's not a big deal for you, I mean this does feel great. I kind of have my own like biases on stuff that's made in China. I feel like it's not as great of quality. I mean this feels like it's good quality, but uh, only time is going to tell on this one. But if that does bother you, just be aware that this model is made in China. All right, this is a six, six to one. We're gonna be using it as a flipping kind of setup. So like I said, I do have a seven, six heavy fast action meta, which is the rod series that goes with this reel. I will be doing a separate review on that because obviously it's not here yet. But we are gonna go ahead, we're gonna line this up with 50 pound braid and I'm gonna slap it on one of my other rods that I have, and we're gonna go out and see what this thing can do. Guys, so we're out here at our local boat ramp. Right now I got on a 7.4 medium heavy, moderate fast rather than fast, so it kind of feels a little heavier. And I gotta say, guys, for pitching, this rod feels nice, all right? Like, uh, some things I didn't go over earlier was it's got aluminum frame, carbon sides, so it's not gonna buckle on you if you get that big fish, all right? Another great thing about it is it's got this arrowhead lead, line lead right there. And what that's gonna do is keep, keep it spooling evenly, as you guys can see. Spool just fine, this is a 50 pound braid. Right now we're throwing a half ounce pitching jig with a Strike King crawl. And like I said, it pitches like a dream. So right quick, we'll go ahead and uh, bomb cast this thing. You know, see how it does.
no overrun. We casted probably about 30 yards. Right now my brakes are set to four out of six, which is pretty much how I run my concept day. And uh, like I said, guys, this it's an incredibly smooth casting reel. I, I try to stick around the 300 combo price range. Uh, I think that's a good budget for me. And with this reel coming in at 150 and the rod coming in at 150, I mean, at least reel wise, uh, pretty much all my other reels are right in that price range. And I gotta say guys, other than the fact that it's made in China, this so far feels like my best one. But you guys know, only time will tell. So I'll do a full review in about three months. You know, after I've had a chance to catch some fish on this thing, you know, really get to put it through the, the rounds. Cause as y'all know, I'm very rough on my gear. That's why I don't spend a fortune on it. My gear don't stay pretty for long. This will be my first time left hand pitching, all right? We'll see if, uh... nope, still no bird's nest. So I mean, for what I'm going to be doing with it, it's definitely, it definitely good. But like, even with a bomb cast with a half ounce jig, like I said, we'll do it one more time for you guys. Well, that was my fault. I didn't stop it when it hit the water, but you know, just pull back a little bit. It was fine. You know, honestly, for 150 bucks, guys, I don't think you can go wrong with this reel. Feels good. The EVA handles feel good. I might actually swap them out for quart. We'll go over a couple more features right quick, guys. So with the spool capacity of this reel, uh, you're looking at 135 yards of 12 pound mono. So pretty decent uh, for the 150 reel size. I've never had to use more than 100 yards on, uh, on one of my bait casters, but you know, having that little extra is nice if you wanna use it for like a small swim bait rod or uh, excuse me, reel or something along those lines. Uh, you also got, like I said before, the 22 pound bulldog drag, which I don't really know what that system is, but your drag is in aluminum and then your crank handle is also aluminum and aluminum and you also get a little bit bigger diameter with it so you could really crank down that fish now this reel does come in seven three to one six six to one which this one is and also a five three to one uh, for the the crankbaits deep diving crankbaits me i kind of wanted a six six to one because like with pitching i feel like the slower i mean still consider high speed but the lower speed reels just have a little bit more power when it comes to getting fish out of cover. Like I, I know I'll probably get flack for that. You know, everyone wants the highest speed reel there is. Oh, what the fish charges you, that kind of stuff. And honestly guys, like, don't get me wrong. I use eight to one all day. Most of my reels are eight to one. Um, I lose a seven to uh, 7.5 to one, you know, but I find like I just have a little bit more trouble pulling them out of grass, like getting that power on them. You know, I can keep up with them if they charge the boat, but I can't really get that power on them. Uh, like I said, once the meta rod comes in, uh, we'll do an unboxing and first impression on that. Uh, I will be putting this reel on that as soon as it comes in. I mean, it doesn't look bad on this, I don't think. I actually think it looks pretty good on it, on this uh, six gill. But this is actually what I have my lose on currently, uh, as more of a more of a frogging rod. All right, guys. So that is the 13 fish Inception G2 with from G Man and 13 Fishing. And first impressions, excellent reel for the price. Like I said, we'll do a full review. The only two gripes I have actually is that it's made in China, but I can get past that and I would have liked to see a audible clicked uh, spool tension knob. Other than that, it feels really great in the hands. It's cast extremely smooth. Really have no issues with it guys at all. This isn't high quality braid and it still hasn't bird nested on me, even with throwing a heavy weight. So definitely worth the 150 in, in my book guys. So. If you haven't seen them yet check them out make sure you subscribe to the channel like i said we got the 13 fishing meta rod uh, that should be arriving shortly so we'll be doing a review on that 
We also have very cool projects coming up that you're not going to want to miss. We are a newer channel, but every day we're doing bigger and better things. So you definitely want to hop on that train soon. All right. So if you guys want to see any videos in the future, make sure you leave it down in the comment section. We love hearing from you guys and you don't want to miss what we got coming up. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.